All right, so what's up guys, Persia here, and um, I, I wanna explain a little bit of stuff real quick about Riot and MineHQ. So first of all, MineHQ's already got all their stuff done, everything's already over with, and I'm sure some of you guys are already like, you know, 16, 17, 15, that's like the normal age group, I'd say. Um, uh, myself here, uh, I would, I'd rather play MineHQ than Riot MC due to the fact that, well, Right, MC, staff members pull you into us and willingly ask you for docs, and they also ask you to DDoS other players. I'm not even lying to you either. The staff member, I put in quotes, DDoSer, literally, DDoSers is his name, pulled me in, uh, what's it called, TS, while I was live streaming to like 120, 180 people, willingly asking me to dock someone. And honestly, if you want the more professional server, like I'm doing this video like straight up to honestly give you guys like a real viewpoint because I've been playing both servers and if you want a professional server to where you're not going to feel like uh, give or take. So listen to this like Spino server is the kind of server you want to go on if you don't want like a real HDF experience. You want like a fake one to where you just like mess around, get stuff spawned in go get revived for BS reasons. If you want a real server where DTR means something, like one DTR is actually a DTR and it's not just something you can go in TS and get back, then go move to MineHQ. MineHQ honestly like actually feels like a server and they can hold 700 something players with 20 TPS, whereas uh, Ride MC can only hold like 200 or 100 and the server lags every five seconds, literally freezes every five seconds. It's like Jack Frost just took a shit on it. But what's it called? Um, um, I'd just say play mine HQ. There's a lot more powers. Map 13 is going to be lit. There's 25 man factions, and I'm pretty sure there's over 10, 20 factions. And Dauntless might be one of them, possibly. Um, what's it called? The servers, <laughs> it actually holds, you know, like 700 players, or give or take even more. And they're coming out with a whole bunch of new stuff. And MineHQ has the original plugins, and they're actually like originally developing. Whereas Riot MC is just taking their plugins by getting some undercover members to go on their server and do, for instance, slash yours, take a screenshot, and send it to Spino. Um, yeah, so play the real server here is what I'm trying to say. And the IP is going to be right in the middle. So go ahead and just uh, put that in your ad servers, put the IP right there, and connect to it. All right, guys. Persia. While I'm chilling up in Alabama, trying to show a bitch off as a Lambo can get. With all this green up under these gold chains, they're mistaking me for Pepper King. They come and clapping them, I'm coming after them, passing them. All I do is fucking win. I got bras out in Cali. I got hoes getting ratchet. Hit the dispensaries and grab it. Wrap it all up in that plastic. USBS, I'm a tracker. Too damn for you, I have it. And making the meeting, I'm texting. 200 racks in the mattress. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a street nigga. Ain't got a sound like nobody. Pain, that's for free, nigga. That's why I still fuck with them bricks and the weed, nigga. And that's why I hop in my jet. My nigga go hop in that Benz. My nigga go hop in that Porsche. And no, we don't need no new friends. Cause I go hop in that ghost. And yeah, that boy still got the meal. Look at the lip on them forts. Look at the motherfucking rims. And I keep trying to tell you where I'm from Florida, baby. Still 50 grand, so now 